Now, before going and activating the BC sets, let us uh, verify whether uh, the settings required for HTTP, HTTPS, and SMTP protocols are uh, active or not, okay, or set or not, okay. So, to do that, let us go to, I'll go back, let us go to a transaction SMICM, right. Go to SM transaction SMICM and then click on services, okay. Just make sure that your HTTPS, HTTP, HTTPS and SMTP protocols are active. Okay, that's all you need to check here. This is a basic job, okay, so you don't need to worry about as a security or a GRC person, you don't need to do anything here. Okay, just make sure this these three protocols are active in this transaction code and SMICM transaction codes code, okay? So there is a check you need to do. Okay, once this is done, now you can go. Okay, so before we, okay, the next step that you would normally do is to go to uh, and verify if you're just using single sign on, for example, right? Uh, there is a trans, you go to transaction code SS O trust. There's a transaction code I forgot. Okay, the transaction code, I think S trust SSO2. Yeah, so S trust SSO2, right? You need to make sure there is, you know, this configuration is also set up if you are using single sign on. Okay. Now this again is a basis task, so don't you do as a security person or a GRC person, you don't need to worry about this. Okay, so the basis guys will do this for you. Okay, if you're using single sign-on. So you verify from the basis team or you know one whether those HTTP, SMTP, and HTTPS protocols are active in SIS, SIS, SMICM transaction code. And if you're using single sign-on, verify whether the certificates have been generated on in uh, S trust SSO2 transaction code. Okay, now you can go and activate the BC sets uh, that are required for your setup.